Hello everybody, and today we will be adding a new, a new addition to our FPS tutorial. This is FPS episode 5 I think? Alright, so anyways, we're going to go into the play button, go into text and change all the text to white. Why might be we be doing this? Because it looks cool. Why not? And when we are done, we can close all these, of course, we are going to rename the play button to new game. We're then going to duplicate it and rename it to load game. Now we can go into new game change the name to new game load game and now what we can then do is set the position for new game to 110 and yeah that's what we're gonna do then we're gonna go into scripts open up main menu and we're going to go public, pub public void new game. Now in here we're going to write player prefs dot delete all. This is going to delete all the saved data. We're also going to write Scene manager dot load scene level select menu like so. We can then change the play button to a load load game. We can then save it. I'm back in the Unity, and yes, I did upgrade to a new version. And we can go to our new game, main menu, new game, and we can go to load game, and menu, load game. Now that we got that out of the way, we can work on our settings menu. So we're going to go into our settings and open that up. Alright, so first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to make a UI toggle. We're going to put it right there and this is going to be our full full screen toggle. Now we're gonna set it to two two. Set the label to white so we can see it better. Then we're going to set the Y position to 150. We're also going to go to background, UI, UI sprite, and click our oh yeah, button BG. It looks better. Oh, we also want to change it to the label to full screen. Boom. Now we're now we're going to create a UI. It's going to be a drop down text mesh pro. We're going to set it to the size two. It's going to be at position zero. Option A is going to be low, medium, 
high. We'll name it to graphics, graphics, and move it up. And we'll set the source image to button BG. Next, what we're going to do is make a UI slider, scale it up, we're going to add a text on it, which I will scale to your convenience, which will be 100 by 25. Set the Y position for this label to 22. Set the font size to 20. And write volume. Volume. Boom, boom. Then we're going to set our vol our actual volume slider to be negative 150. We're also going to set the minimum value to negative 80 and set the maximum value to 20. We're also going to rename this to we're going to rename it to volume, rename this to label, just so you can see it much better. Now we got our settings complete. We're going to create a C sharp script and we're going to call it settings. We're going to be using using unity engine dot audio and using unity engine dot ui we can get rid of our comments here and get rid of the update function. Yeah, we'll get both. We'll, we will need to get rid of both. Now we're going to write public odd audio, sorry, audio mixer. We're going to call it audio mixer. Public void. Set volume, float volume, audio mixer dot set float float volume, comma volume. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy this because we'll need it in a second. We'll head back in Unity. Oh. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to go into Window, Audio, Audio Mixer. I'll add it right here. Plus, we'll make a new Audio Mixer. And we're going to call it main mixer. So, we're going to go to master, right click on volume, and then click expose volume and master to script. Now we're going to rename my expose param to what we wrote. and click enter. 
Now we can add our audio mixer there. Now we have a main mixer there. We can then go to volume, settings, uh, oh shoot, I forgot. We also have to attach our script to our settings. We can go to our volume, then settings, and you'll see that we have a dynamic float. We're going to want to click on that. We'll set it to, we'll set the volume to negative 80. What I also want to do is set the fill area to blue, cyan blue, because, it, because I think it looks cool. You can change it to whatever you want. I'm just going to set it to cyan blue. Then we're going to go to settings, we're going to go to assets main, we're going to drop our main mixer in there. Also to make everything nice and neat, we'll create a new folder, we'll call it audio, and we'll add our main mixer to the audio file. And now I'll click on audio, our audio mixer. Now watch our master thing right there. As you can see, it moves along with our volume. Pretty cool, and I will get rid of that W because I do not know what's there. Boom. All right, we can now work on the graphics. So we're gonna go to edit, edit, project settings. Visual effects, I think it was. Uh, graphics. Yes, implement package man physics. I forgot what it, ah, quality. So we're gonna delete very low, ultra, and very high, just so we can have those right there. We'll head back, go into scripts, Visual Studio Code and public void set quality. I think that's how you spell it? Yeah. Int and we'll need a quality index. That's what we'll be calling our quality index. We'll go to our quality settings dot set quality level, which will be quality index. Boom, like that. We're going to click Command S or save it. Now we can go, now we can go to our graphics on value change at our settings. And there's going to be a dynamic in which is going to be set quality. We'll add that. And now we can go to edit. Project settings, let our project settings right next to navigation, play. Now we have our graphics, which will be set to low. All right, medium, changes to medium. High, changes to high. Oh shoot, what I forgot to do is change your graphics label and change it to white. All right, now we have one thing left to do and that's our full screen. We're gonna go to our settings, public void set full screen, pool 
is full screen. Screen dot full screen equals is full screen. And it's that simple. We can go to Unity. So now what we can do is we can go to add it settings, settings, and like all the other things, we're gonna set it. We're gonna have a dynamic bool and we're gonna set it to set full screen. And it classy. You can do this. D bug dot log volume debug dot log quality index and we I forgot how to do that but yeah we shouldn't we won't add a debug now as you can see we go to console or, oh we also got to add that as you can see our volume will be changed oh and to keep us from like getting too much lag we will add full whole numbers medium high so low is zero medium is one and high is well high and we'll add our full screen as you can see and we can click done new game will work oh oh I forgot something. I'll be right back. So I just did the rest of this. I'll show you what I did in the next video. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And after we're done with our player controller script, next video, I will want I want you guys to tell me what you you guys would like to see next. This isn't just where I'm going to be talking about this because I want you guys to see some stuff that you guys want me to make. Do you know what I'm saying? Probably not. Anyways, uh, yeah, this was a short video compared to me. And yeah, peace.